In this video, we will derive the volume formula for a sphere using integration, where the volume of a sphere equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. To begin, one way to create a sphere would be to graph the circle x squared plus y squared equals r squared on the xy coordinate plane, and then rotate the circle about the x-axis. After the rotation, we have a sphere with radius r. And now to determine the volume of the sphere, we can think of making vertical slices of the sphere where each vertical slice would be a disc or right circular cylinder as pictured here. Remember the volume of a right circular cylinder is pi r squared h and for this disc or right circular cylinder notice how the radius is y and the height would be from a small change in x represented by delta x or differential x. So we can say the volume of one disc or one slice of the sphere equals pi y squared times differential x. From here, as the number of slices approach infinity, or the number of disks approach infinity, the sum of the volumes of the disks, or the right circular cylinders, will approach the volume of the sphere. And now let's introduce some calculus notation. Let's first focus on this sum here. We have the sum from i equals one to n of pi y sub i squared times delta x. Well pi y sub i squared delta x represents the volume of one disk, a right circular cylinder, and therefore this sum represents the sum of n disks. And again, as the number of disks approach infinity, the sum of the volumes of the disks approach the volume of the sphere. And we know the limit of this sum is equal to the def integral from negative r to r of pi y squared differential x. Notice here we're integrating from negative r to r all along the x-axis. From here though, let's make two changes. Instead of integrating from negative r to r, let's integrate from zero to r, then multiply the integral by two. Also, because of the differential x, we know we have to integrate with respect to x, and therefore, we need to perform a substitution for y squared using the equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Solving for y squared, we have y squared equals r squared minus x squared. So for this next line, we can say the volume equals two times integral from zero to r. This changes from integrating from zero to r rather than negative r to r. And then performing a substitution for y squared, we have r squared minus x squared here. For the next step, we can factor out pi, which gives us the volume is equal to two pi times integral from zero to r of r squared minus x squared differential x. For the next step, we integrate with respect to x treating r squared as a constant. The antiderivative is r squared times x minus x cubed divided by three. Again, we have r squared x here because we treat r squared as a constant. From here, we need to find big F of b minus big F of a, or in this case, big F of r minus big F of zero. To begin, we substitute r for x, which gives us r squared times r, giving us r cubed minus Substituting r for x here gives us r cubed divided by three minus, and now we find big F of zero by substituting zero for x, which gives us r squared times zero minus zero cubed divided by three. Simplifying, this is zero and so is this. Here we have one r cubed minus one third r cubed, which gives us two thirds r cubed, giving us two pi times two thirds r cubed, which does give us four thirds pi r cubed which is the volume formula for a sphere. I hope you found this helpful.